Hi viewers, um, this is channel 12317, and today I'll be reviewing the Doctor Who Flight Control TARDIS. Before we get to the box, well, we're going to do it first, but before I get to all this, today, um, like, or basically by the time I make this video, or like by the time I make this video, I will pretty much be coming up with so many other ideas. Today will be a non-stop review week. So you'll get lots of reviews. Just a, just a way to say that I'm sorry that I haven't make, been making that many videos. So this is like a little celebration. And the last time I and the reason why I uploaded the Evanescence going under video was because just just to let some people know that I, I still make videos on this channel and then and also because I just didn't know what to put on, so I just panicked, and next thing I knew, I, I found that song on there. So I thought, why not do that? I, But it could have been more clear if I just did a Doctor Who song on it. I mean, I'm like a video on that, but I just couldn't at the time, so I will be doing that later. And I actually printed a picture about the 50th series picture. So, okay, now let's get to the box. First, I'm just going to open the box. Let's put it a little bit up. Okay, now, okay, now the object is out of the box. And over here, it, set, it says features, eight motion activated interactive sound effects and flashing TARDIS lantern and opening doors and, and telephone door. And then over here, over here it says interactive flight, takeoff and landing sound effects. So that's, that's pretty fun, isn't it? And, well, so, and then we go over on top, it says the same thing. And then it says, and then it has the Doctor Who logo. I'm sorry if if some things might go wrong in this video, um, because sometimes it's hard for me to to like show it and stuff because I don't have the best camera in the world. But by December 25th, or maybe by the by the end of 2013, or maybe next month, I will get I will get a camera so I don't have to use my laptop or my iPod no more. Now it will be more professional, okay? So get ready for that. Hopefully that everyone is excited. I mean, everyone is excited because you know I am. And then here's the TARDIS itself. The same two words about the features and stuff. The same logo, same flight control TARDIS. On the, and it has the same thing on, on the other side. This is, the, on the back shows you how to do it. I like the texture and, and how this feels and stuff. This is the legal garb. And I feel bad for the people who are going to pay for this if they do. Because this is $35. But I I got this from from Barnes & Noble. And that was like $35. It's a little bit cheaper on Amazon. But those two places I only know. I, I only know that has this. They have a nice little Doctor Who section. And right over here it says there's a warp sound. So that's pretty much it with the box. Okay, and now we have the actual toy itself. So yes, as you can see, it's everything like a TARDIS should have. But I guess the Eleventh Doctor and Clara maybe be sleeping because the lights are out. According to this, it's pitch dark, and there's doors opening doors, open doors, and then there's a nice little button right over here somewhere. Um, that automatically closes the other door. And then here's the lantern. Sorry, do you see that? Sorry if it's a little bit dark, though. Even though that's daytime, it's still not really showing that much light, though. Sorry about that. I do try my best. And then, you know, it has everything that the Tarasuji has, though. Um, I bet that you can't really see some of it. So hold on.
You know what? I'm sorry, guys, but I just put up with the light. I'm sorry. So, okay, so... So, yeah, but as you can see, there's no lights. There's no sound effects. Because there is a switch. Turn on. And then there's a lantern flickering like that. And then there's a button down here, so when the floor presses it, we'll make a tar sound. Tar's just materialized. And now, for everyone, now it's time to open the doors. Now we should see the Tars interior noise. It's cool, right? There. And that and that's so yeah, those are the sound effects and features. Now let's actually talk about the whole reason why they even made this. Flight control. See this white, white, white dot in the center. This, you put it on. One finger goes over there. Another finger. Go. Another finger goes on the lantern, and, you, and you're able to spin it like this. So you can see the TARDIS is spinning, and with the sound effects and all that junk. Well, it's not really junk, but you have like this. There. But yeah, we get the point. And sometimes the sound, the the sounds are the materializing noise. So can sometimes go crazy. Um, you'll 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 figure it out when you get it, or or if you already have it. But besides that, uh, five stars. I'll give it a four. Um, but that's my opinion. Maybe to you guys is maybe less stars or more stars. We never know. So that is the review, and and keep on watching this video for what I'll be reviewing next. This is channel one two three one seven. Sign me out. Bye. Hi. This is Channel Main 7, and I'll be reviewing the Dalek Handbook. This has so many secrets. Now let's open and find out.